Hello and welcome to the post-update world of Twilight Struggle. So, let's see what's changed before I jump into the game. First thing, everything is smaller, therefore, well, they have more room to actually put in some settings like animation speed. Uh, secondly, uh, supposedly the game runs faster on slower computers, which is great. Although the lobby is somewhat smaller due to this somewhat annoying background animation. Thirdly, oh, bugs. Okay, you can see the animation problem here. Two sides, but it's not chosen. So you can you just need to go back there again. Bugs and more bugs, which we'll see in the game. Against Gilles Soua, a rather strong player, who defeated me in the silver playoffs of ITSL. Okay. <coughs> so, the chart got large. Hmm. Also missing. Okay, that's weird. Only tested this against the AI, and well, it works reasonably okay. Now that I look at it, these letters are almost unreadable. Hmm, no core alignment. Okay. Oh yeah, okay, it got there. Oh, okay, so Africa issue was temporary. And I really don't like this new font. I mean, what was wrong with the previous one? Not to mention, some cards got an interesting update. Well, let's see, okay, I got both the cards. The Korean War, Socialist Governments, so most of the available headlines, except for, of course, the Purge, which I'll counter containment. And, okay. Okay, I think I go with the French opening, just one. Since I have socialist government, so no risk there. Mm -hmm, all looks good. Okay, at least here profile looks good because outside the game is heavily broken. Mm, at least when you check on your opponent. Mm, if for example, I were to join uh, here. That's why I had in mind. So let's hope they improved under the safer surface more that they have broken. Okay, so I guess I can't do much about the Middle East. I mean, I could cool Lebanon. But I really prefer the idea of expanding out of Iran instead of spending a tree up on a coup. <clears throat> it's kind of annoying that at least in the early war, even theoretically weaker players, although with a lot of ops in their hands, so 
right. I guess I need to hurry up with that. Okay, either a Korean War or decolonization. Korean War, sorry. Because I will have to play it. Uh, yeah. Okay, got lucky there. Since if he had put one more influence in South Korea, then losing the war would, would grant him control. So I would have to pay extra for the privilege of putting influence anywhere in any Korea. Okay, if he has the scoring, I assume he will score it now. Well, maybe put two more in Saudi Arabia, of course. Damn, he's persistent. Okay, let's make him a little bit nervous, maybe. Not much, he'll just take Syria, <coughs> of course. Ooh, interesting. Okay, I want that too. Certainly, I am the luckier player regarding roles. Not so sure about the ops. Ooh, yeah, clever critter. Okay, I want as much freedom as possible with my last move. This is not a free move. Okay, I'm no, not losing any access, of course. So I'll just play socialist governments now. Hmm. Mm, I play special relationship. No problems there. Melops at three is enough. I won't try to gain anything more. Okay, finally a lower card. Oh, very reasonable. And okay. Yeah, I think I like the perspective of controlling Thailand here. At least kind of sucks. But Asia and Europe should make up for it. Although sadly I did not get any even half decent headline options. I mean sure is European unrest is nice and all, but okay, it has to be Marshall I guess. Yeah, okay, sorry, I retract my words. Marshall is half decent enough. A little bit wasteful, but it is Marshall. Always useful. Mm -hmm. Followed by... By what? Probably UK. Okay, so I assume we're gonna have some fun with coups here in Asia. And I need to hope that he got at least one of my scoring, or that he did not get his. And if he got, got mine, well, then hopefully without the corresponding five-year plan to dump it. Okay, not cool. And the Pakistani war is gone. Yeah, I'll just grab India. I do need to rush with any of his events. So, so independent rights are gone. So there's no gain in allowing that. Mm, I'm so sorry, in inducing his influence in Europe. Okay. 
And that in showbiz is called a Q target. Should have used CIA maybe, but also good. Now, if he goes for a Pakistan coup, of course, there is some risk of me doing the coup in Thailand. Whoa! Well, that's nice. Okay. Mm, not this time. Should have spaced, maybe. Although, on the other hand, should I? I'll be holding Suez, I think. So, get at least something. Until after the reshuffle. For now, I'll just prepare a little bit for the imminent brawl in Asia. Malaysia, of course, to make it harder for him to take advantage of Vietnam Revolt's event. Whoa, really? Without any attempt? Okay, now I'm spending that for sure. I mean, I think he should have at least tried a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I get, I guess I got as lucky as was, was humanly possible. He got both of my scorings, did not get his, and no fire plan. Actually, this goes just back into Iran. No real reason to do anything else. Okay, so he did get Milly scoring and 5 year plan in case he got something to use it on. I got Dickel back, which is great. Your intervention, same. Here's Japan, you in the Pakistani war. As for Europe, yeah, all the events were played. Why didn't he headline the goal, by the way, and just dump Europe? Oh yeah, Vietnam Vault, decent enough, I guess. Okay, captured Nazi scientists. Mm -hmm. Nope, I don't have any, which means you don't have that many as well. So, Suez goes into intervention, Dico goes to space, Arab Israeli quite likely as well. Hmm, as for my opponent's move. Hmm, yeah, kind of expected that. Okay, I don't present him with any very good coup targets. So I'll just space. Since in case of any coup in, well, practically anywhere, I would probably prefer to respond in kind and be the one lower in DEFCON to 3 in Holland, for example. Although, of course, my opponent doesn't have 
really good coup targets. And Pakistan is overprotected, always vulnerable to the Indo-Pakistani war. Iran was just scored. Panama always risky. Okay, now that spacing for the turn is done. We can get to real work, I hope. So, I will naturally not rush regarding DEFCON. Yes, that is reasonable. Hmm. On the other hand, DEFCON being that high prevents me from getting into Africa. Since I definitely don't want to start a coup war there, if I have great chance of just getting it for free. Although, well, there are some notable events incoming. Right, I forgot about that card. Perhaps I should have coup after all. Okay, so that worked in protecting talent. Mm, that would be a waste to use more than two ops for the coup. And I won't be needing this card anyway with Pakistan overprotected. Okay, so now the big reveal. Did you or did you not get destalinization, my well, enemy? His friend is not exactly fitting. Desperate, no very reasonable. I don't I think one would be enough. Not sure I won't be bothered with taking Canada just yet. There are much more important or important issues regarding Africa here. Okay, which one? Europe. Right, okay. Not that golden anymore then. Mm-hmm. Not sure I love taking on Jira like that. I guess I guess I have to. Okay, that's interesting. So, Junta normally a great headline. This time, not so much. <laughs> Nothing to coup. Sadat, normally very reasonable, but I have Muslim Revolution. Okay, maybe let's just start with Nixon see what happens from there. Although it is quite likely that I will just lose. Oh. Okay, do you have Asia, my friend? Certainly smells like it. Okay. I don't want to give the gunman no. Really don't. Like the idea of holding on to it for a moment. Not to surrender anything in Africa just yet. And Muslim Revolution will go to space it seems. 
I got convinced regarding that particular matter. As for Asia, hmm. So, do I attack Asia now? So, I could simply use Suri here, and if he doesn't have a four up, we'll have a proper fight in Asia. Would be quite likely coming out ahead. No, okay, I'll give him one one moment, one turn. Maybe he decides to go for a domination in Asia. Although not sure he how could he do that? I'm not sure at all. To Japan... Yeah, use Japan in the discards. He could go for Japan itself. And I'll just probably use this time to boost my position in Africa. One more Angola, two more in South Africa. Maybe just take Nigeria. Yes, I think I like that perspective as well. Although I quite like the current situation of my opponent not being able to do much, not being able to access practically anything. And the only new battleground accessible to him seems to be Nigeria, which is rather risky by itself. Although he could probably break Algeria, put one in Saharan states and get to it that way. Okay, as for the game itself, no new bugs, it seems. Still can't get used to the fonts, like the previous one, much better. And ch the chat is so bloody large. But 
other than that, nothing seems to have changed. I wonder what is my opponent pondering for so long. He didn't even space. And he probably does have something that he would like to, especially since it would block my second space. Oh, he did have Asia after all. Mm, regrettable. Okay, that means I am going a bit harder for Africa here. And ah, perhaps rightly so. There's no reason not to place a dot. Well, maybe some reason. <coughs> and his hand does seem somewhat weakish at all. Yeah, I should have pressed immediately, it seems. Okay, so Junta, where? Argentina or Chile? I know it's scored, but it grants me access, so... Makes it uh, important because of that. Argentina, I guess. But I can't help but feel that I have lost some significant opportunities in this turn. Hmm. Good call. Bad roll. <coughs> wow. Yeah, the perch. Controlling cultural revolution. That's somewhat decent. Or due to the missile envy threat, perch is mandatory here. <coughs> Which is all the more awesome because I might bird trap him mid turn. And there aren't that many decent cards that he could discard. Not at this plate, and I probably should consider going into Canada sooner or later. <laughs> hmm. What are there? What other three OPS cards are there? Hmm. Okay. Distal, I assume, which will grant him ABM. Hmm, that's surprising. Okay, I'll just grab everything in Asia. No problem there. <coughs> And with salt and perch, he 
his coups are at minus two. Fidel for a coup? Okay, he must have Africa. That's for sure. So I'll use a higher card. And good thing that I did. that and maybe that as well <coughs> so I assume we'll have an ABM right now whoa really yeah but I'll just ignore that I think Now, Mr. Che. Okay, one, two, three. Time to score Africa, my friend. Really? Okay, if he is anything, if not persistence. set up another domination then. Right you are and bear trap. Yeah, I probably wasted that Zimbabwe. Okay, so is there a threat of me losing here? Likely not. Duck and cover is here. Just checking for Olympic Games. Yeah. And since he is bird trapped, and I got brush war. Hmm. What else is there? Central America. Mr. Envy should be about right. Just to make sure he doesn't discard anything useful. Okay, I guess it is time to get rid of the gunman, or is it? Maybe not. Hmm. 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 Where 
there's NATO. Still around, so I might hold on to special relationship. Sorry for noise. that so is there any target for me frankly I don't see one okay now I would just space liberation theology but I'm thinking that I might need it for possible quagmire here. And I feel that I would like to know a bit more about his cards. So, Armani Tehran seems about right. So he did miss the roll, yeah. Since there's really no countries I would like to take here. Okay, so that's not here. NATO. Neither is available. Okay. So he might have Central America. and he doesn't have Southeast Asia, so there's no rush regarding that. Okay, so he got out. Now, normally I probably could reinforce Pakistan, but in this situation I would really prefer him to play the China card. And just focus on the Central American region instead. Now this could be a bit of a waste since he probably has or likely will get Panama Canal returned, but in case he has the scoring, let's not make it cheaper than it has to be. Whoa, realignment. Guess not. Okay, colonials aren't that urgent, but always useful. Just to set up a welcoming committee. <clears throat> not sure I will not get Mr. Kennedy. Come on, dude, what is with these realignments? Hmm. Could be that. It works, yes. Quite so. Hmm. Okay. So that was annoying. with two VPs to my name. Countered by same.
Now, given the state of the map, I will quite likely use brush for for the ops. Hmm. Let's assume he does have Central America scoring, huh? <laughs> okay, that was unfair. Truly. <clears throat> Poor guy, I mean, really. That's a bit much. How much is Southeast Asia? Yeah, quite likely it will help me. And the game. Chile, maybe. Sadly, I don't get to see his headline. But in most cases, it's not something that could hurt me. So. Oh, other than that, maybe. <clears throat> Although I have so many poor cards, and that I don't expect to be a big problem. All in all, a very well fought game by my opponent, who just didn't have the luck. I mean, especially the scoring timing in the early war. Turn two, I got everything, he got nothing. Hmm. <laughs> what do I do with it? Peru, maybe. Frankly, I have no idea. Hmm. Hmm. One more in Africa then. And I get out immediately. And after my next move, the game is over. Although, due to my certain recklessness, it possibly could have been lost due to DEFCON. So I just stick to Long Gunman and kept sticking to it, since, well, not doing so would have sacrificed something of my position in Africa, of course. Okay, is it over? Yep. Exactly so. So, as you can see, despite the surprisingly low rating, my opponent played a very good game. I mean, I could easily give him 1800, although the luck, the luck just wasn't there. But I guess the game, despite the quirks, the UI issues, no, using the players for testing, mm. It's still playable, so I guess I'll give another Blitz game a try soon. So, cheers and thanks for watching. 
so slow.